In this brief video, we'll see how you can get started quickly with using SharePoint Online to manage your documents and emails. Your existing documents are in a folder structure within a Windows file share. There are also emails in folders within your Exchange environment. You have a SharePoint Online tenant, which already contains a document library. The first step is to add some metadata and views to the document library. You can do this using the SharePoint web browser UI. Alternatively, MacroView can supply its fast start provisioning solution. You can then use the Microsoft Migration tool to reproduce the existing folders from your Windows file share in your SharePoint Online document library. Then you can use MacroView Message or MacroView DMF to work with the documents in those SharePoint Online folders including to drag and drop existing emails from Exchange folders into those SharePoint Online areas. For the purpose of the video, the folder structure in the Windows file share that we want to migrate is this one under the folder called Demo. As you can see, that already contains six files and a number of subfolders. Each of those subfolders contains sub-subfolders, which in turn can contain documents. We're using the Microsoft Migration tool to reproduce our existing file share folders and their documents. First we choose a source, which is the file share, and our start demo folder, then the destination document library in SharePoint Online. The migration commences, and it's now completing. When we go to Microsoft Outlook, we see the macro view pane on the right, which shows the structure of our SharePoint Online tenant including a new migrated document library containing the same folders as we saw when we're in the file share. When we click the base of the library, we see the six files that were in our demo folder and also files within our subfolders. MacroView displays a formatted preview of those files such as this Word document and this PDF. If we click on the left, for example on the inbox, the main pane of Outlook resumes its normal function and we see all the emails waiting in the inbox. We can drag one of those emails to the correspondence folder in order to save it to SharePoint. Here is the resulting new file in SharePoint Online. We can see a formatted preview of it and we can also choose the email messages view which shows us that the attributes of the email, such as subject, to, from, receive time, and so on, have been recorded automatically. And we also see that the name of the folder in which we dropped has been recorded automatically as the value of document type. Here's another email that we'd like to save. This one contains a PDF attachment. If we drag it to the same area in SharePoint Online, we see that MacroView saves two files. The attachment has been split off from the email and saved separately. Here is the attachment PDF and the email. Again, if we go to the email messages view, we see that the attributes of that email have been recorded automatically, as has document type. If we right click and open that file or double click it, it retrieves from SharePoint Online and opens back in Outlook exactly as it was at the moment that we saved it. MacReview also allows us to save emails in bulk. Let's select this bunch of emails and drag and drop them to the same correspondence area. We don't have to watch the process. We could click the hide button and carry on working in Outlook to do other tasks. The bulk save is now being completed. We can see that by the save to SharePoint indicators. If we click on the destination area, we see that it now contains an additional 19 emails. The Macro View Options dialog lets us see that there are many settings we can use to configure the operation of Macro View, including having emails deleted automatically from their Outlook folder once they're saved in SharePoint. Macro View also names the resulting files in SharePoint in order to prevent duplicate copies of any one email from being saved in any one area of the SharePoint store. We've seen how you can save Outlook emails by dragging and dropping. You can also drag and drop files from any Windows Explorer folder, such as this desktop. The six files that we've selected are being loaded to the Contracts area, and here they are now appearing in our Macro View display. As we've seen previously, you can get formatted previews of those newly loaded files, and right-click to have them inserted as an attachment or link in a new outgoing email, or maybe even convert it to a PDF and then insert it as an attachment. 
As you send an email, you can be prompted to save it to your choice of area in SharePoint Online. Alternatively, a copy of the outgoing email can be filed automatically using filing rules similar to those of Outlook. Emails sent to Colin are automatically filed in the correspondence area for customer C. Here's a copy of our newly sent email, and we can see that even more conveniently by using Favorites mode, where the customer C documents are within a group of favorites called My Customers. To create a new favorite, you simply right click on the area in the Browse mode of Macro View and choose Add to Favorites. Let's choose to add this also to the My Customers group. The new favorite makes it much easier to get to documents related to customer B. The recent mode of macro view does what it sounds, and that is it shows you the files you've worked with recently. There's that email that I just automatically filed and the areas where you've worked recently. Here's the correspondence area where we bulk filed those emails. One of the strengths of macro view is how easy it makes it to search for documents and emails that are stored in SharePoint Online. For example, using the email search, I can find all emails whose automatically recorded to attribute contains my name. There are 118 results. For example, this one, where the two contains many other names as well. I can narrow the search by using content within the email. For example, called. Now we see a much smaller list of results. If I right click on a result, and choose Open File Location, I can be located to the area in SharePoint Online where that file is actually stored. That's a great way to see the related documents and emails for a project or a client. As we can see, MacroView allows us to search <coughs> by metadata and content while we continue to work in Microsoft Outlook. And we can do multiple kinds of search. This keyword search allows us to use document type in order to find the documents that we've stored in SharePoint Online. Here are search results for correspondence, and here are some results for contracts. Again, if we click, we get a formatted preview of the search result, and we can right click in order to navigate to the location where the search result is stored. We've seen how MacReview makes it easy to manage documents and emails while you're working in Microsoft Outlook. MacReview also provides a good document management experience when you're in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Adobe Reader and Acrobat, and in a separate Windows application called MacReview DMF Explorer. Let's open this PDF document by right-clicking and open. We can now make modifications to our PDF document and use File, Save to SharePoint in order to record it back in SharePoint. When we do so, we are prompted for the same version comments as if we were saving from Microsoft Word. Now back in Outlook, we can right click and see the version history comments that we recorded whilst we were in Adobe. MacReview also makes it easy to create new areas within our SharePoint Online store. For example, to create a new folder to contain our analysis documents. MacReview makes working with documents in SharePoint Online Feel as familiar as working with the file share. You can right click and rename a document or delete a document. And as this screenshot shows, you can customize the screen displays so that the word Macro Review is replaced by your company name. Here's how you can find more information about Macro Review solutions for generating and managing documents and emails in SharePoint.